Tuesday, after the governor took the stage in Broward County, two of Florida's top leaders, House Speaker Paul Renner and Senate President Kathleen Pasadomo, endorsed Ron DeSantis as our next president. We need a leader like Governor DeSantis, who has the courage of his convictions and will stand against the liberal economic agenda that is ruining our economy and the Hollywood social scheme that is trying to shorten childhood and replace the role of parents. I believe he is the right leader at the right time. There are three qualities of any great leader. You have to have integrity, principles, and courage. And you can be a leader without one of those, but you can't be a great leader without all of those. And Ron DeSantis has that in abundance. And America more than ever needs more than a leader, they need a great leader. And no better leader than America's greatest governor. But if you're wondering, has DeSantis announced he's running? He hasn't. Well, typically uh, endorsements usually happen after the candidate announces, right? Because otherwise you're endorsing somebody who hasn't said they're going to run or not run. Political science professor Kevin Wagner at Florida Atlantic University says presidential candidates will usually host a big announcement and then a series of events. As a result, their numbers in the polls will start to rise. In DeSantis's case, he spent the weekend in Iowa appealing to potential voters. According to a poll by 538, as of May 10th, 43.1% of Americans have a favorable opinion of Florida's governor, which Wagner believes may only increase. The expectation is, is once you launch the campaign that you do, you, you become an active campaigner, right? So you spend a fair amount of time going to early primary states, to talking to people, raising money, uh, making proposals. And so you try and continue to generate um, different uh, 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 activities that is going to get you media coverage and continue to build, as we say in this business, momentum. Um, and uh, that momentum usually is in the term of, you know, are people sending you money or are you fundraising effectively and are you rising in the polls? DeSantis has also made other moves to suggest a bid is not far away. A moving truck was spotted outside of the state's GOP headquarters on Monday and the governor's press secretary, Brian Griffin, announced he was leaving to take on a new role, pursuing other avenues of helping to deliver the governor's success to our country. Well, things have been fairly quiet on Donald Trump's side. Wagner believes that he will begin to ramp up his campaign as well as other candidates as soon as DeSantis announces his bid. Now, the former president has already been endorsed by several Florida congressional leaders. He announced his bid for presidency in November. Sophia Hernandez, Florida 24 Network.